Hey, I'm Paul, and welcome to another Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a collection point. But before you start to build, there are a few things to consider. First, it's good to have a team. Having someone to share the tasks with can make the work a lot more fun. And second, how much space do you need? It's important to be sure you have enough space to store the plastic that you collect and to host visitors. The space we're using here is roughly four by six meters. And third, location. Your collection point should be easy to find so that people can bring you their plastic. So your team's assembled and you found your space. Now it's time to build. The goal of this workspace is to collect plastic. And to keep things neat, we recommend using large bags or some other sort of container to store your plastic. It's important to separate your plastic based on type, so be sure to mark your bag so that everything goes to the right place. Sometimes you might receive large amounts of plastic from a single source, like spoons from an ice cream shop. It's nice to store these plastics separately to maintain material consistency as much as possible for the workspaces that recycle it later. An important task at collection points is engaging with your local community, both online and offline. So it's good to have a workstation where you can organize campaigns, send out social media posts, and have a chat with contributors. When you tell people about the collection point, encourage them to clean and remove labels from their plastic before bringing it in. Sometimes they might forget to do this, so it's good to have a washing station where they can clean their plastic before handing it over. Once the bag is full, put a label on it so that the workspace you pass the plastic onto knows what's inside. Make sure the label is securely attached so that it doesn't accidentally fall off in transit. Before passing on your plastic, weigh it to keep track of how much you're collecting. And while you're at it, enter the amount on upload.preciousplastic.com so that we can keep track of how much we're collecting together as a global community. Seeing their plastic go to a good cause is a big motivator for the people bringing in their plastic. It's nice to have a display to show off the precious plastic products being made from the plastic you're collecting. There are a number of methods you can use to collect your plastic. Maybe supporters bring their plastic to you, or maybe you go collect it from them. The approach you take will vary depending on what's possible in your area. Check out our collection how-tos to learn about all the different ways you can go about collecting plastic. Regardless of what approach you take, what's important is to make sure that contributors have a friendly and welcoming experience when visiting your space. To help with that, we've made some posters that you can hang on your walls. Plants always help bring the space to life, too. This workspace is meant to help you think through the various elements of your collection point as you plan. Your needs will change depending on your context, so feel free to adapt as needed and share back what you learned so that we can all grow together. For everything you need to start a collection point, check out the download kit and watch the next video to learn how collection points fit in the precious plastic universe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next precious plastic video. Oh, and before you leave, we just wanted to let you know that Precious Plastics runs on the support and funds of people just like you. Everything we develop is open source online for free. So if you're able and willing to support, visit support.preciousplastic.com to make a donation or find another way you can help. What did <laughs>